What's up you guys, this is UT Spartan with Homebrew Studios bringing you another video of our 7 Days to Die series. Just starting off here, uh, collecting some, some uh, basic materials here to make my starting weapons. Some wood, some grass here, and uh, whatnot. Seven Days to Die, for those who don't know it, is a survival horde crafting game set in a zombie apocalypse. So basically, you are left out here in the wilderness by some guy to be explained later in, in the alphas um, named Duke. For some reason, he's deemed you necessary for... Uh, banishment into this certain death in the wilderness here in the wasteland and uh, so starting off here is just a couple of basic items that you have to lay down and uh, for to uh, get your first points in the game to start to level up whatever project that you are planning to undertake to start with so um, collect plant fibers, some wood. Right now I'm trying to craft a stone axe. So, picking up some just uh, random stuff here. Um, stone sometimes a little difficult to find until the, you do craft that stone axe and then you can get plenty of it. But uh, in the meantime, it's just, it's just a, uh, here's one, okay. Let's craft this stone axe here. Glorious level one. Glad to have it right around this time though, so it's better than nothing. Get rid of this needless stuff out of my toolbar. Be stuff to clog up my inventory and my boxes. Except for that bed roll. I'm gonna lay that down. Oh yeah, definitely gonna get a hold of that. Right. Need to make myself a bone knife here and and uh actually first I need to clothe myself. Put on my cowboy hat. So like I was saying, um, kind of left out here in the middle of nowhere um, with just zombies and random traders just to try to help you along as much as possible. So This game is a, a totally different game playing by yourself than it is playing as a group because uh, so each each group member can have its own kind of uh, specialization to work with. When you're playing all by yourself, you kind of got to spread your things out evenly, even though I am going to start off with... Uh, did not mean to craft those a second time. Um, even though I am going to start off um, putting most of my points here in... in uh, fortitude because I do like to collect seeds and get my farm plots going right off the bat so okay yeah, I wanna, let's see here what am I trying to do oh yeah I need some wood so cut down this tree here get plenty of wood because it's a decent resource to have in the beginning because you can use wood for just about everything and especially in the uh, the creation of the items in the beginning here, you need plenty of wood. So, I'm going to finish chopping down this tree. run over 
here and get plenty of stone. Now that I got an axe, I don't have to go all over the place searching for it. I can just chip off enough that I need and get plenty of it. So yeah, I've been playing this game for about, about a year now and probably have about six or seven games going with just various people. It's a very good social game because um, it's just it's it's uh, every game is never the same. Some games you have where everything comes really easy to you. You can find higher level items just sitting in the trader box or sometimes you find them in random places but uh, you know just the group aspect of this game especially goes a long way and I really have not found one person that has not liked this game so which I'm sure they're out there so if you're watching this video and say I hate this game well you're one of the few that I've I've run across then so yeah I forgot I need to make my bow knife and yes I know some of the uh, some of the things are a little slow with me here because I am using a controller this game does have full controller functionality a lot of people like to uh, use the keyboard and mouse. Um, I just I've played with the with the controller since day one, and that's how I've learned. So, but it, there is a trade-off to using the controller. It is a tad bit slower on some things. I'm gonna grab these snowberries. Definitely a great source of food in the in the start. When you don't have any other food, you go out searching for berries. This game is notoriously laggy in the beginning because uh, computer is first time seeing a lot of this information, so everything's kind of just slowly popping in. So, looking for a nest. Gotta find some feathers. Oh, got myself a zombie here. Oh, crap. Oh, figures. Got a sprained ankle. sucks because if you run on that sprained ankle for a very long distance it will uh, it will turn into a broken leg and that's not fun Ooh, got some some feathers and a an egg so I can go ahead and make my my arrows and craft my bow Sometimes later in a game, whenever you're running around, 
and your bikes or your gyrocopters. You're at day 35, day 45. Got just about every cool gadget in the game. It's fun to sometimes run back across in random places and find where you've crafted your, your uh, wooden box and your campfire and be like, yeah, I remember back when I didn't have anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put my points in here, Gardener. I'm going to go ahead and level my fortitude up as high as I can get because I definitely want to get my farming farming up here. That's going to be the first thing I, I focus on so I can start building my farm plants. This food is a very valuable resource in this game. You don't have to have quite as many farm plots as a single player, but whenever you're playing with a large group, those, that corn is definitely coming in handy. Um, you got to get that farming under control rather fast because there's a lot of people starving to death and everybody's walking and consuming a lot of calories, so... But as for me, I can level off the snowberries for now until we can figure that out. Oh, that's nice. I me an upgraded axe. And a map. Off to, to the trader. Pretty nice town here. Pretty big. Definitely gonna be looking out for these rancid meat piles here because that's how I'm gonna make my farm plots. I'm explaining a lot of this stuff to you like you've never played this game before. Uh, if you have, just disregard it. Uh, I know not some people probably have heard of the game but maybe have not ever played it some some people are kinda iffy of it because it is an alpha so it's on alpha 19 but um, some people are leery of it because it's not quite yet even into beta so We don't want to go down. Take this to opportunity to let you know that, that I did upgrade the difficulty to Nomad here. So these guys are a little bit more beefier than normal. For those who have just started playing this game, definitely recommend you not do that. I would like to have you, Mr. Chicken, but I'm just not going to run on this sprained ankle. Like bachelor number two is up. Yeah. So that would be number three. That's right. This would be the third zombie I killed. Yeah. Okay. 
I hear you, Miss Nurse. <laughs> Right, Terracotta House. These houses are great for books. I'm gonna definitely mark this for for later. Book Topia. Okay. Adequately named. All right. Really need to get to this trader. Things kind of seem to be taking my attention away from it. Like, ooh, this car. Let's see what's in here. Oh, no, actually, it's Hillberry. That's right. Can't make up my mind. Level 2 sledgehammer. Definitely looking better. favorite houses to have a base in here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one. Firehouse. It's a good place to hold up for first uh, first couple bay, uh, horde nights there. Definitely, that's going to be in the running. But I really need to get to this trader. quite a bit in here. Got a trader around the corner. Got a nice setup for a base. If this is what I think it is, I think this is a park. Yeah, I recognize that gazebo. Definitely a great place to have in your in your neighborhood. Uh, especially if you're a farming nut like me. Uh, Get some potatoes and some blueberries and whatnot in there. So definitely gonna mark that as a as a POI here. Trader Jen. 
So, oh, do I know my what are you buying don't today? I? Okay, Jen, what you got? I'm gonna go ahead and sell you this and this. Make some money. Couple good things, just not exactly anything that I want right now. Steel armor schematic definitely is a plus, and the iron helmet looks. Thanks nice. for letting me take care of you. And so, yeah, tell your friends. We're gonna go ahead and call this one a day. Uh, we appreciate you checking us out here, and we hope to make more videos here. And um, we do appreciate your your uh, patronage here, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.